Buckle up for some story time real quick. So by February of 2021, nearly the entirety of the Mattel Disney Cars NASCAR line was already revealed. We even had pictures of everything up to and including the Gogo -Go Logano and Ryan inside Laney Wave, and they told us that they were doing diecasts for the real life drivers of Eric Amarola and Kyle Busch. Now by process of elimination, we had figured that those had to be the next gen retread and taco mint racers. We were right for Eric Amarola. His diecast here is Eric Amarola sponsored by retread. And we all kind of knew that would happen because Kyle Busch in real life was sponsored by Eminem. I think that's Mars Inc. And so that's associated with candy. Taco Man is obviously a candy brand. Duh, they have to make him the next gen Taco Mint. And when he wasn't in the wave with Eric Amarola, we were getting a little suspicious because they were announced and revealed at the same exact time in February of 2021. And yet Rowdy Revan Bush ended up getting pushed back two more waves because of course we had the wave with Bubba Wheelhouse, which wasn't even announced. He was the only guy that wasn't originally announced in February of 2021. So that's why I said nearly the entirety of the series. But lo and behold, they pulled a fast one on us and made him the next gen hostile takeover bank racer. And now us fans and collectors, like we always knew that there were those two missing sponsors floating in the void. There was Hostile Takeover Bank and Dale Earnhardt Inc. Those were two kind of weird sponsors, quote unquote, that weren't in Cars 3, but were in Cars. But we all knew that they were weird because they were associated with either like main characters or cameos, you know, Dale Earnhardt and then of course Chick Hicks, you know. It's not like there's a Dynaco next gen for the King. It's not like really there's a Rusty's next gen. I guess you can consider Cruz to be that kind of but we all just thought it had to be Taco Mint because that just fits the bill with retread, shifty drug, sidewall shine, fiber fuel, you know? God, we could go on and on about this. I know I already spent two minutes on the intro, so we're just going to dive right in. Yeah, we're going to review Rowdy Revan Bush today based on real life NASCAR driver Kyle Bush. He is sponsored by Chick Hicks's original sponsor, Hostile Takeover Bank from Cars 1. Everyone thought that this guy would be the next gen Taco Mint. He's not. We have to accept that and get over it. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Disney Docket. <laughs> so yeah, he is new for 2022, obviously, in the second wave of the NASCAR line for 2022. That includes these new rims here, as you can see. This is the new rim design, whereas last year... They were special for each racer, you know, so they had different colored text there on the tires and different colors, but most of them were silver like that. I think almost all of them actually were silver, but now they're adjusting to the real life rims that they've been using in NASCAR. So that's pretty cool. Obviously it has that pit stop barrier as well. And you can see here on the background, a bunch of other racers in the series, Jackson Storm, Ryan Inside Laney, Danny Suarez, Eric Amarol, and Gogo Logano, Bubba Wheelhouse, and Lightning McQueen. I reviewed all these guys before, so I'll leave links for them in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right corner. This is definitely a fan favorite line ever since it was introduced. People has gone crazy for it, including me. I mean, I really do think it's very wise for Mattel, and I think it was a super great decision for them to take advantage of the sponsors that Disney and Pixar neglected to include in Cars 3. They knew that fans wanted to see racers from them and they took full advantage of that. It really is a fan service line if we think of it, but they definitely did us a bad move. <laughs> they did us a non-solid by making this the hostile takeover bang next gen. But regardless, he is still super popular. And I do want to get out of the way before we open him up. There is a Chick Hicks pit stop barrier that's just like this, but it's obviously you know designed for Chick Hicks with the 86. But it was only released with him in that movie moment series in 2016 and early 2017 that became extremely rare as it was kind of only released internationally in that like Meyer stores and on Amazon. So for that reason, I don't have one loose, but you can Google it and you could find it there. All right, it's time to open this guy up. It 
It's interesting to think about how much longer Mattel will continue to use the old style blister, you know, the blocky style, because you'd think that they'd want to switch to the streamlined blister for everything to cut back all around. I mean, they're even doing this for some Hot Wheels lines like the character cars, Star Wars, and I think I saw the Batman ones have it as well, the DC ones in general, but yeah. I know this is a bad example, but I'm sure they will want to switch to the streamlined blisters for everything very soon. So obviously, Rowdy Revan Butcher did not appear in any movies or whatnot, even though that would be amazing if they did like a NASCAR Cars tune or shorts. That would be incredibly popular, and it's really kind of getting the juices flowing right now. Like, dang, it's really making me feel regretful that they aren't doing that. But we're going to just start with the little pit stop barrier here first to tease you guys. So he's got the typical HTB logo, and I will pull up Chick Hick so we can compare real quick. Same exact font, pretty much same everything. They did modernize the balloons a bit, so they're just kind of flat on the paint without a gradient or shadow or lightning, because you could see that the lighting reflects off of the corner of the balloons there, and they have like a little gradient to them. They're definitely made to look a more like 3D, and they have been modernized to just kind of be flat and more abstract. I love how they do the contingency sponsors here in the background, how they kind of fade out and come into clarity on the right side here behind the 18, which is, it is a different font than the original 86. So that's interesting. But yeah, I really do like the way they designed this. And it's also paralleled on Rowdy Revan Bush here. Now, since we all knew that Kyle Busch would be getting a car, I always ask people like, hey, what do you think they'll name him as a diecast? Like, how will they carify that? And <laughs> we were super wrong. Like, no one would have ever guessed Rowdy Revan Bush, even though Rowdy is his nickname in real life. It's literally like his Instagram name. It's like Rowdy Bush. So it's creative on their part. Like, that's definitely a very Mattel-esque name. That's like, oh my God, what's another name? That's like an M.A. Break Drum type name. It's like when they just go over the top with it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you have the HTB logo there. Super big. I like how they did that. I absolutely love the contingency sponsors in the background there. They're more than your just typical. Oh my God, this is amazing. Actually, this might be one of my favorite releases of all time. They actually did a phenomenal job with this. Some of these logos have never been even seen before on other things in general like you guys know on almost every next gen piston cup racer except for like george newman they have these exact same four decals piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy almost every single one has that even non-nascar ones you know here's eric amarol and dang swervez but then you go to cars like mafas fong hj hollis same exact decals right so you would think, and I thought that they just absolutely multiplied the heck out of those four for all of these decals, but no, they took all of the decals, all of the sponsors from every racer almost and put them on Chick Hicks here. And that is perfect because that's exactly what they did for, well, I just said Rowdy there, but that's exactly what they did for Chick Hicks in Cars 1. These are all of the sponsors from the piston cup racers and cars and then some you know you have ones like sludgy there and some other decals like that team chick one there's a texas t one in there as well that aren't piston cup racers so i'm so glad to see that they did that here oh my god like some of these logos like i said are not present anywhere else you can't find them online you can't find them on other characters they aren't even on their respective racers like rich mixon does not have like that kind of decal these are like the smaller contingency logo sponsor type things and i know i'm like geeking out right now i'm kind of embarrassing myself but i'm really excited about this let's just take a moment to absorb it blinker toe cap triple dent sputter stop intersection all of these logos are like the condensed versions and some of them we haven't seen before that's probably the best way i can put it gaskets nitroid bumper save wow all right he's got a yellow front bumper i like his expression it's a little bit different from some of the others we've seen so that's nice and fresh 
He's got, of course, the next-gen rims, and there you have the typical piston cup combustor, carbon cyber, and synergy. And those are in white there, whereas the rest of them are kind of in the background, and they fade into clarity as you move to the right here. 18, yellow, sideboard, orange arrow to indicate to the picker where to lift them up at to do work. Another HTB logo, some more balloons, gas cap, which looks pretty good. Wow, I am just nerding out right now. I cannot believe they went to such effort with these decals. I thought they would just multiply these and just, yeah, spread them out. Wow. This is one of the best releases Mattel has done in a long, long time. HDB spoiler, slightly darker green. I like that contrast. He's got the netting there in the windows. HTB rookie racing stripes on the back, of course, to indicate that he is a rookie. All rookies are required to have those. Are these exactly the same sides? Let's see here. Tanko move springs, no stall toe cap. Let's see. No, they changed it too. Wow, that's so impressive. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. <laughs> it's slightly... A misaligned like see how that's aligned you do have i think that's tanko mood springs no salt toe cap it <laughs> looked a little different at first so i thought they actually changed up the order of the sponsors but yeah still super impressive i would never have thought they would do this like they would have had to obtain all these different logos from pixar and again like these logos just aren't on your average car right you will not find these like you're not going to find that small Tanko logo on any other car except for Rowdy, Reb, and Bush. Let's see if I can find a good example. Like here, that Reb and Go logo is right there. I love that. I'm not kidding you guys when I say this is probably one of the best releases Mattel has done in a long time. This might be the best release they've done since Steve Herschel in 2018. His date stamp here reads 3371SD. That means he was made on the, the, the 337th day of 2021 at the SD factory in Vietnam. All right. Oh, man. I might have to take a sabbatical after this because this is just a mind blowing experience. I am so impressed with this racer. Blows these customs out of the park. I'm just kidding. These are some amazing next-gen chick hicks slash HTB customs that I've reviewed on my channel before. I'm sure you guys might have seen them. I will leave links in the description for them. This is more of a next-gen HTB on the left, and this is a next-gen chick hicks on the right. The next-gen chick hicks is very similar to the one Mattel did, whereas the custom definitely took a different stance. But all of them are super cool in their own ways. It's actually really cool to have all three of them here. It's pretty neat. But yeah, these are undoubtedly the most similar. But yeah, this guy just used the Cars 1 sponsors. The customizer, that is. Which is totally understandable. It's, again... Not like any of the next-gen logos are on Google Images, unlike the Piston Cup Cars 1 images. For whatever reason, like all those are in super high quality on Google Images for the most part, but like the Cars 3 stuff just is not, right? And so, of course, now I got to compare him to none other than his predecessor, Chick Hicks himself. You have the Cars 3 version on the left and the Cars 1 version on the right. Both of these are really cool characters. I think that the Rowdy name really fits along with Hostile Takeover Bank. Like Rowdy and Hostile, like those words definitely go hand in hand. And both of these characters look fantastic together. They fit in perfectly. I complain that some of the other NASCAR racers that Mattel has done don't modernize don't modernize like the sponsor or the company enough. Like they basically just copy and paste the decals off of the original stock car. So like for example, they just take like brush curbers decal and put it on the next gen fiber fuel. 
This one, absolutely not. I mean, obviously the HTB is the same font, but everything else is different. The balloons have been modernized. The 18 is a different font from the 86. And I couldn't say enough good things about Rowdy Rebin Bush. This is probably one of my favorite releases in a good five years. Oh my God, wow. I have not been this thrilled with a Mattel release in a long time. It feels good, guys. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments section below who's your favorite NASCAR release. There's a ton. You know, you have Lightning McQueen. Jackson Storm's my least favorite. I don't even know why I brought him out today. Cruz Ramirez is underrated because she's only in the five pack. Bubba Wheelhouse is pretty cool. Now this guy's being found at Walmart stores in the United States. Check your side caps. Like check all the aisles in the toy section because there might be a side cap, which are those like thin red tall things that fit on the side of an aisle with a bunch of NASCAR singles and sometimes they have included the Rowdy Rebin Bush single. And sometimes they haven't though. That's why I said sometimes because some people have found the end cap or the side cap without Rowdy, which is just devastating. <laughs> that is the worst feeling when you like have a fully restocked section and yet they didn't even put any Rowdies in it. Unless someone got there first and already took all the Rowdies, which is possible because he is one of the best releases Mattel's ever done in the last five years. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you soon for another video. Bye now.